The creature we are covering today can take down whole banana trees with little effort and have been known to escape cages by simply bending the metal bars. You gotta be kidding me. So, if you got into a fight with one of these primates, would you win? Find out today on Laugh Back. RC's on the case. Clawson is here to fight. And Blades is here to save the day. <laughs> Transform! Oh man, are you guys playing Transformers? Well then, it's a good thing I brought Optimus Primal. Optimus Primal? Oh yeah, and the best part is that he changes into a gorilla. Gorilla? gorilla? Oh yeah, a gorilla. To quote the professor, let me show you something. Wait, can a normal transformer be a gorilla transformer? Well, if it's anything like a regular human fighting a regular gorilla, then the odds of a regular transformer beating a gorilla transformer aren't very good. Why? Because of all the animals you could choose to pick a fight with. Oh, I'll take you on. The animal you hope doesn't walk into the arena is... The Gorilla. So there are four species of gorilla. There is the Cross River Gorilla, the Mountain Gorilla, the Western Lowland Gorilla, and the Eastern Lowland Gorilla. And all these species live in the Congo region. They're just in slightly different areas. Now of all the primates on Earth, gorillas are the ones that have the thickest muscular bodies. Not unlike that of some of the world's biggest human bodybuilders. These creatures are the world's largest primates and are among the top strongest animals on the planet when compared to their size. So how powerful is a gorilla? How much stronger are they compared to a human? And if someone was unlucky enough to get into a fight with one of these massive creatures, is there any chance on God's green earth that the human would win? Let's find out with some feature facts. Feature facts. Size. Because of their great weight and muscular bodies, gorillas are considered to be anywhere from four to nine times stronger than the average human. Um, I would like to come down now, please. Now, the eastern lowland gorilla is the largest of the four gorilla species. It is distinguished from other gorillas by its stocky body, large hands, and short muzzle. These powerful primates are anywhere from four and a half to five feet tall when walking on just their hind legs and can weigh up to 460 pounds. But wait, there's more. Because the biggest gorilla ever recorded was a massive six feet, five inch tall silverback gorilla with an arm span of eight feet and 10 inches and a weight of 483 pounds. Man, silverbacks are huge. But you know what? They kind of have to be because they are not only the head, but they are also the guardian of their gorilla family. Which brings me to my next point. Family. Gorillas live in a family group called a troop. And these troops usually consist of anywhere from five to 10 members. Oh, yeah. Although they have been as large as 50 and as little as just two members. Now a silverback is a male chosen to lead the group. And that one silverback will lead his family for many years. He's responsible for making sure his family is safe, deciding where they should sleep, and bringing them to new locations where fresh food is abundant. Which is good because gorillas eat a lot, so traveling is necessary so they don't deplete their food source. Anybody got some ranch? I could use some ranch over here. 
Now on occasion, a young male will challenge the silverback to see if they can take his place. And I will say a show off is impressive. Because the gorillas will make loud noises as they beat their chests with their fists, bare their teeth, and eventually charge one another. Ooh, those boys gonna get in trouble. It's just time. Hmm. Joke number one. Why did the gorilla take a banana to the doctor's? He wasn't peeling very well. <laughs> Joke number two. What does a gorilla learn in kindergarten? The ABC. <laughs> Joke number three. Why did King Kong climb the Empire State Building? Couldn't find the elevator. Hey -o! Punch. Unlike magicians, Gorilla's magic is up their sleeves. Gorillas have an impressive amount of strength behind each of their long arms. It is believed that a gorilla's punch is strong enough to shatter your skull with just one slam of its fist. And that's because this slamming has the ability to reach anywhere from 1,300 to 2,700 pounds of force. So you can see why that is enough power to break a human bone with literally one arm tied behind that gorilla's back. Now the reason for this incredible strength isn't because they hit the gym for four hours each day. Nope. See, gorillas are known to walk on all fours. And by doing this, they put their arms through a lot of stress-related activity. That gives them large amounts of exercise daily. This leads to not only lean and dense muscles, but also very large muscles. Strength. Now, speaking of Transformers, these guys are built like walking tanks. Literally, they're just built tougher. In simple terms, if you were to take a certain amount of muscle fiber from a human and then take the exact same amount of muscle fiber from a gorilla, the gorilla's muscle fibers will weigh four times more. That is because a gorilla's muscle fiber is so much more dense than humans, which means they can pack more power behind everything they do. And that is just the muscles. The thickness of their bones are not only on average three times thicker and heavier than ours, but they are also ridiculously calcified and more calcium means more dense and stronger bones. Because of this incredible build of bone and muscle, it's no wonder that fully grown silverback gorillas are so much more stronger than humans. Check this out. The current bench press world record, equipped with a special shirt that helps the lifter, is held by Jimmy Kolb. In early February of this year, he successfully locked out 1,350 pounds beating the previous bench press world record by 30 pounds. Nice. Which is amazing. But these contestants are lucky that a gorilla didn't enter the competition. See, a silverback gorilla can bench press not one, not two, not three, but 4,000 
pounds on the bench press. Now that's impressive. Now it's time for Acting Wild with Zara. The Gorilla. <laughs> this was Acting Wild with Zara. Skin. Now let's just say because you drew the short straw, you're about to throw your strongest punch at a gorilla. Putting all of your strength into it. Well, there's a good chance you break your hand. See, gorillas have much thicker skin and skulls than humans do. Which means you would have to generate a lot of energy behind that punch in order for that gorilla to even really feel it. And on top of that, a mountain gorilla also has a very thick coat to keep it warm. But this coat has a dual purpose because it can protect the gorilla from shallow strikes and bites. Why hello there, Professor Glasses here, and I hate to break it to you vegetarians out there because I'm a vegetarian myself. And we've got to stop spreading the lie and using gorillas as evidence that you can be on a plant-based diet and still gain muscle mass. See, gorillas love to eat and do so almost all day long. Since the bulk of their diet is plants, they require a large amount of food to maintain that sizable muscular physique. They will eat up to 40 pounds of food a day of leaves, fruits, seeds, roots, ants, and termites. Bro, you gonna eat that? Nah, this is what I got, my friend. So how do gorillas get such a strong muscular physique on just a plant-based diet? Well, let me show you something. If you've ever been to a zoo and looked at a gorilla, you may notice that they've got a big, bulky pot belly. That's not because they carry excessive fat around their waist like many of us humans do. Instead, that bulky stomach is due to gorillas having larger, longer intestines in order to give the microbiome that lives in their gut time to work its magic. The secret ingredient that gorillas consume, which their microbiome puts to use, is a compound called cellulose. Now, humans can't digest cellulose. If you eat it, it goes straight through your digestive tract and comes out the other end untouched, if you know what I mean. We just don't have the right microbes to break the links between these glucose molecules. But gorillas do. And when their microbes break apart and consume this cellulose, they then produce a protein in the gorilla's gut, which the gorillas absorb. And it's this bacterial protein that bulks up these massive primates. So there you go. The reason that these beasts are prone to bulk is because they have a special microbiome that help them hulk. Now between you and me, I wish I had some of those in my tummy. Hmm. Bites. Now if a gorilla decides that biting is allowed in the fight, there is no way a human would be able to return the favor. I was unaware that the Wachukus were biters! For starters, a gorilla's mouth is much bigger. And although they have 32 teeth like the average adult human, four of those teeth are pretty long and pretty sharp. With their bigger top canines being about two inches long. Now I don't know if I've brought up how powerful gorillas are. Ha! Never heard that one before. But their bite? It's no exception. They have incredibly powerful jaws with one of the strongest bite forces in the animal kingdom. And this bite force is around 1,300 pounds per square inch. And none of this is factoring in how strong their teeth really are. 
These creatures often use these sharp pearly whites to cut through bark and tough root. So piercing something like soft flesh would be no problem. So I guess it's a good thing that these animals aren't necessarily carnivorous. It's time for something crazy! Here's something crazy! As we've all learned, it would be crazy to fight these amazing creatures. But there's one person who was insane enough to do just that. His name was Mike Tyson. In the 80s, Mike Tyson was known as the unbeaten heavyweight boxing champion. And Tyson thought that taking his girl to the zoo would be a good date. He and his lady friend had the whole zoo to themselves by paying the zoo to stay open after they closed. As they walked past the gorilla enclosure, he noticed a gorilla picking on the other primates. Any normal human being would have passed without batting an eye. But Tyson isn't your ordinary human. He took offense and wanted to go inside with the gorillas. But he didn't just want to walk in. No, 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 this is Tyson after all. He wanted to have a fight with the gorilla. He was prepared to offer the zookeeper $10,000 to open the cage so he could go in there and smack the gorilla. Luckily for Tyson, the zookeeper declined the offer. Now I know we've given you a lot of reasons why not to fight a gorilla, but the truth is, gorillas don't really want to fight. Despite movies like King Kong, these primates are not nearly as fierce as their movie counterparts portray. They are plant-eating, very gentle, and live in family units. Even the silverback, the head of the troop, is very gentle when correcting the young. Now, was that a good choice there, Junior? Uh, no, sir, no. Now, despite their peaceful nature, humans still need to be careful around them. Because, as we found out, they are much stronger than us and could endanger our lives if they ever felt threatened. Well, that's our show, everyone. Time to let this creature hop, skip, and boop right on back to his gorilla troop. If you like the show, hit subscribe. It really helps. If you like this episode and want to see more, let us know by smashing that like button. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time on Laugh Pack. <laughs>